It's Screen Team Q&A time. Yeah, what's up guys, Chad here. And Angie. And I am Groot. You sounded exactly like Groot. I screwed up because he wouldn't say, and I am. He would just say, I am Groot. <laughs> Whoops. Today we thought it would be a lot of fun to talk about something we're very passionate about. Yes. Toys. Food. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, toys. We've been collecting toys forever. Look at how we got toys in the background we're right now. We're finally in our new house and we're yeah. starting to like decorate our house, which is pretty much toys everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Flowers and uh, grown-up decorations? Nope. No toys. Way. All toys. A couch? No. We it just need a shelf with toys on it. I know. Or Porg right there. Just exactly. Yeah, Porg. <laughs> Did you see that? I won this um, Porg on Forced Friday too at Target. This sticker right there belongs Press to it. Porg. Hi! Hi, I'm Chad. So we asked you guys to send us some questions about toys. Yes. So we're going to answer them. Let's do it right now. Katie wants to know what toys do you collect? Oh, that's a good question. We collect all so kinds much. of toys. <laughs> First and foremost for me, it's Star Wars. I grew up on Star Wars. I'm older and still collecting Star Wars. I was made fun of for collecting Star Wars in high school and I still collected Star Wars. All about Star Wars here. We also collect pop figures. Yep. Obsessed with those. Pop Have figures. Tons. Amiibo, we Amiibos. got some. Marvel. Yes. We yeah. love like uh, Sideshow collectibles, Kotobukiya figures, Yeah, so much. If you want to see more of our toy collections, be sure to join our group on Snups. We just started it. It's going to be the most awesome toy collection group ever. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> want to do a lot more toys. And we have a lot of cool new toys to show. Some of them you can see here. We got the Bayonetta um, Amiibo recently. Love Bayonetta. And we'll be regularly posting in our Snups group. So be sure to come and follow the Screen Team Toys group on Snups. We got the link in the description below. And uh, if you follow us, we'll follow you back. We'll have little discussions about toys. Most of all, we want to see your toys. Yeah. You can post pictures in the group and we'll give you a wow. They have a wow button. That's really cool. <laughs> So you wow us, we wow you. Yeah, and, and everyone says, wow, <laughs> wow. Game with Weezer wants, to, that's a good name. I love the band Weezer, so I love Game with Weezer too. <laughs> Favorite toy from your childhood that you still have and one that got away that you'd no longer have. Oh my gosh, I have a sad story about that. My X-Wing, <laughs> talking the original X-Wing toy that I got for my birthday. I think it was one of my very first like cool toys I ever had. And um, I was playing out in the field with it, right? You know, you're like, oh, you're playing Star Wars out in the field. And as a kid, for some reason, I thought, well, I'll just leave it there overnight so I can continue the next day. Unfortunately, it was in a field that was just a public field and a huge plow came through, plowed it all. And the next day I just found my X-Wing pieces all over in the Aww. field. It's okay. I'm sad. <laughs> However, I do have lots of uh, Star Wars toys that I did get to keep. And here's one of my favorites of all time, the snow speeder. I mean, anytime I'm like, ooh, my guys have to go sneak into a base, or ooh, my guys have to go fly somewhere, they always took the snow speeder. I mean, look it, you could fit two people in there. For some reason, Hoth Leia's, oops, the top came off. For some reason, Hoth Leia is in here. She never fl flew a snow speeder, but. You put her in there the other day when you're playing with it, right? I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna go put this out in the field tonight so I can uh, continue my adventures tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, this was always my favorite. I just love the shape. And look at these things on the bottom. They're, they're cool to grab and you kind of get to hide your hand while it's flying. Look at it. looks like it's really flying, doesn't it? It's just too hard to pick my favorite toy from childhood. And luckily my mom saved most of them. Anything Pokemon. Uh, Legos, we were playing with Legos the other day Ooh. for our Ant-Man. I know, yeah, I got to roll around on Legos I on my like back. I have tubs of Legos and how, I, I just love Legos. <laughs> yeah, I went through a G big Legos phase when I was a kid. Mm. My friend Jeremy and I, who, Jeremy, if somehow you see this, hope you're doing good. <laughs> Those old days were the greatest and uh, wish we had kept in touch. But anyway, the, I wish we had kept in touch. But yeah, we went through a big Legos, Lego phase. I would always build the E.T. house. I love my Pokemon cards too. Ooh. I have tons of them. Ooh. <laughs> Gina Marie wants to know, what's Wampa's favorite toy? Wampa's favorite toy? Well, there's so much to choose from. I know. She, there's all kinds of fancy toys, but there is one that's not so fancy that she loves. Boxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Like, why even buy the toys if all they're going to do is sit in the box? Well, we buy the toy and yeah. put it up and she gets the boxes for it's it. It's like a little bonus yeah. gift. <laughs> in fact, every now I got cat hair all over me. <laughs> that's her, that's my favorite gift. Wampus cat hair on my shirt. She leaves it just for me. <laughs> Mr. Bagels wants to know what name has the best toys in your opinion? He says Star Wars has the best. I would agree. Yes. I think uh, Star Wars has the best. But there's a there's lot of great so stuff. so many Star Wars toys that you could get. Such awesome toys, too. Right. And they have dolls. <laughs> they have, you know, they even have little matchbox cars shaped like Darth Vader's helmet and all kinds of weird stuff. They have basically everything, so it's hard to beat Star Wars. But I think uh, Transformers. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say Transformers. Yeah. Anytime you go to the store and you see the Transformers selection, I mean, they have so much and we've collected some ourselves. I know, so. especially the classic style. Gotta love that stuff. Yeah, Generation 1, awesome, awesome toys. Those I never kept and I kind of regret. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I think my friends, had, and I regret it. This pushed me to talk. If I'm like a stuffed animal, I'm an awfully sad one, aren't I? Full of regret and sadness and old friends. <laughs> Press it again, I guess say something happy. I really miss my mommy. The sad Chad toy. That's what it's gonna be. Matt Good wants to know what is the worst toy you ever owned? I have the perfect answer. But I was a little older. The Hunchback of Notre Dame came out. The, the Disney movie, right? And then there was this knockoff hunchback that they were selling at Walmart. It was the ugliest, <laughs> the ugliest, dumbest looking thing you've ever seen. And I just said to my friends at the time, I'm like, look at this. I feel so sad for any kid who gets this on Christmas. And so what did they do for Christmas? They bought it for me. <laughs> and it was funny. As you guys probably saw in a past video, I mentioned the face bank. Oh, God. It's terrible. It's ugly. And I owned it and I gave it away to one of you guys. So That's right. I no longer own it. Yeah, someone else, one of you guys is now cursed with that face bank. <laughs> That was a while ago. Man. Yeah. We got to do a new Disturbing Toys I know, video. Should. Speaking of terrible toys, here's some that I found online. That of course. Are just bad. That's what Angie does. <laughs> Baby's, Baby's first, first baby. baby. What? That's Get very out disturbing. of here. Get out of here. <laughs> this toy <laughs> is actually like Russian roulette for kids. Except a hippo comes and kicks the kid's head when they put the gun to the... What? <laughs> it's a real toy. She had Robert De Niro playing it. <laughs> In the commercial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pole dancing. What? A pole dancing... Hey, pole dancing kid? is fun. Right? It's right just right? exercise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jabba Kitty, what do you think of the Punisher toy? No. <laughs> Seems like it would hurt. <laughs> What's your favorite toy? Oh. That's my favorite oh. too. We have a cat who magically replies to everything you say. <laughs> he does. <laughs> and my all-time favorite, baby wee wee. Baby wee wee. Baby wee wee. Helping us, he's gonna wee. Now you know why I just stuck to Star Wars most of my life. Ian D wants to know, if you were one of your toys, which toy would you be? Oh my gosh. Let's see. I'd be this Captain America statue right behind me. And I'd just stand here like this. All day, every day. I think it would be fun to be the diva pop figure. You'd have your little mech and then mm. she is really cute. So I'd be sitting in my mech and... Be walking around. Yeah, eating Doritos. Yeah. Does she have Doritos in the mech? She should. They, we should sprinkle some Dorito crumbs inside there. Diva one, bad guy zero. Diva's my main, by the way, in OW. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been having a hard time with her lately. That mech is trash nowadays. Falls apart every time something hits you. Kevin Helgerson wants to know, besides Star Wars, <laughs> he knows us. Do you collect any obscure, non-mainstream toys? I don't know if I do. No, nothing that I really, I, we have not, a few. Not huge collections of them, but I actually love knockoff toys, like toys that are like not <laughs> supposed you to be You got me a few of them yeah. too. So. Anything that has like the wrong title on it or like messed up faces. You yep, know? yep. Badger, come here, doggy. 
What you doing? I'm hungry. It's gonna be, I'm gonna have to remember that I'm wearing this sometimes. <laughs> for a minute there, I'm like, why are you poking me in the chest? Joe sent us this, what is your action figure name oh, game? Oh no, not the name game. I always get a bad one. I always, I want a cool, I want a cool action figure name. <laughs> Krusty Muscle Butt. Not cool. Yeah. <laughs> Krusty Muscle Butt. I think mine's worse though. Lightning McFart. <laughs> these these should be real action figures. I could just picture you posing like this with your butt sticking out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And me like, I'll be showing my muscle butt, but it's crusty. It yeah. kind of ruins it. <laughs> Here, hold some of these. Wait, before we go, before we go, I do want to show you our latest Star Wars toys. We got some of the Black Collection, uh, Black Series on Force Friday 2. And our big Porg back here. Let's get the Porg out. I hope they have a dancing number in the new Star Wars film, you know? Yeah. <laughs> He's doing like the new kids dance or something. Look at Who's new kids? <laughs> Only thing, almost something old people know about. <laughs> this guy's kind of heavy. I'm like getting knocked the whole camera over. Badger's been obsessed with Porg. I know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, is actually, this is actually where I got this button. It fell off of here. So that's the noise they make. They don't talk. We haven't seen them yet down in the new movie coming out. All right, if you guys want to see more pictures of our Star Wars collection and uh, all of our toys, remember to join the Snups group. We're going to have lots of fun over there. We like buy toys every day pretty much. I know, yeah. So we'll be posting them a lot. And uh, also, oh, you know what? YouTube has the cards thing now. So we're not going to have an end slate. So here, let's just put the subscribe button here. Hit that. And uh, be sure to join us for Super Saturday. If you haven't, we've been putting up for the past like six weeks on Saturday. Um, videos involving superheroes and cosplay and stuff. Come check it out. It's, it's called it's Super been Saturday. It's a lot of fun. So thank yeah. you guys for watching them. It's been crazy. And if you like our Q&A videos, be sure to hit the like button to let us know you like this and we should do more. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody.